Hey you. Yeah, you. Were you born in the 90s like me? Do you feel your muscles aching and bones turning to dust when I say the words cool math games? Do you remember logging onto school computers and playing all those little geometric puzzle games like block sores instead of paying attention to the class like those other losers? Well, imagine one of those games cranked up to 11 in a full 3D environment filled to the brim with complex and interesting mechanics. Now behold, the last cube. So I'm a big fan of puzzle games that innovate on the genre, and while this isn't on the level of something like Portal or Superliminal, The Last Cube was still a refreshing challenge for my brain that felt new, original, and most importantly, fun. This title, built on the simple gameplay loop of Move Cube to Goal, and constantly added more features and mechanics as the game progressed, each one taking full advantage of the 3D space that sets it apart from similar games. Don't let the second dimension tie you down, little dude. So the gameplay consists of the player moving a cube through a 3D space to reach each level's exit. Simple enough. And every chapter of the game introduces more abilities and puzzle mechanics. You have to utilize abilities known as stickers to maneuver the environment in different ways, as well as activate special buttons and lasers corresponding to the symbols. This looks and sounds complicated if you're seeing everything put together all at once. I mean, look at this. But the game does an amazing job of pacing every section to fully grasp each new mechanic along with how to then combine these mechanics to solve even more complex puzzles. Now, come over here. Let me show you one of these god-tier mechanics the developers put into the game. When you're near a floor panel, you can press a button that tells you exactly how to land on that panel without flinging yourself in all directions just trying to get one symbol into place. 10 out of 10. Wood cube again. The end goal is to fix all six sides of the cube world and restore their corresponding stickers, leading the player through many visually distinct environments throughout their journey. While the game's length was perfect for the price, it more than doubles when you include the collectible hunting, challenge modes for every level, and unlockable bonus levels to continue the adventure after the credits roll. There's plenty of content here to keep you puzzling for hours, but who needs sleep anyways? Now, The Last Cube does have a story, but it seemingly takes a backseat to every other aspect of the game. The narrative and background information for the world are presented purely through pages of text that you unlock by finding hidden collectibles throughout every level. While this gives encouragement to seek out these collectibles and makes the process feel more rewarding, I find this style of narrative presentation an unpopular decision for a lot of people, and oftentimes detrimental to the overall experience. It's a shame that some players won't find or read these bits of lore, because they can be pretty interesting and even gave me a few laughs. I was offset by 37 degrees and my friend by 15, so I got the worst of it. At least 15 is a fraction of 90. I wouldn't wish this kind of punishment on my worst enemy. (laughs) Honestly, it's really difficult to find anything to criticize about the game. My experience throughout the entire campaign was smooth as butter. There were no bugs to be seen. The worst offender to my experience was a single typo, and the excellent difficulty pacing provided me with a challenge at every turn without being so difficult that it overloaded my brain, or so easy that it bored me. The Last Cube was a great experience from beginning to end. Don't let that first glance trick you into thinking that it's just another little cube puzzle. This game was a great discovery for me, and you really need to give it a shot if puzzling is your thing. Just don't come in expecting a narrative masterpiece. Solve puzzles and give your brain the happy chemicals. Keep that existential dread away another day. Hello everyone, I hope that my reviews have been helpful to you, and if you'd like to see more gaming content from me, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. You can also hit that little bell icon to be notified whenever I release a new video so you don't miss out on anything. Feel free to let me know what you think about the game in the comments, and you can also chat with me anytime on my social media, the links for that are down below in the description.